we see the sky, we see the land, we see the water, and we wonder, are we the only ones? Long before we came to exist, the humans ruled the earth. They made marvelous things and moved tall mountains. They knew the secret of flight, the secret of happiness, and other secrets beyond our imagining. The humans also knew the secret of life, and they used it to give us the four great gifts. Thinking minds, feeling hearts, speaking mouths, and reaching hands. We are their children. They taught us how to use our hands and how to speak. They showed us the joy of using our minds. They loved us. And when we were ready, they surely would have given us the secret of happiness. And now we see the sky, the land, and the water that we are heirs to. And we wonder, why did they leave? Do they live still in the stars, in the ocean depths, in the wind? We wonder, was their fate good? Not even. And will we also share the same fate one day? And with that, welcome to my first kitty place in English, Inherit the Earth, the quest for the orb. That's a game that I've played when I was a kid. And I think, or I thought, I wanted to show you that game. And this is the Windows version from Good Old Games, which seems to be a little bit upset for running in Windows. So we will see how it will go. The transitions are kind of weird, like slow. I won! I won! I knew I could defeat you! What? Why? How did you... While your pawn was still searching in the Cave of Tears, my paladin made it through the forest to home base! You were taken totally by surprise! How could I have allowed myself to be defeated by such a simple trick? You weren't defeated by a trick! You were defeated by your own cockiness! You were already polishing the victory medallion instead of concentrating on the puzzle! That's not true! I was... I was... It is time for the awarding of the prizes! The silver medallion for second place is awarded to... Riff of the Fox Tribe! And the first prize of the gold medallion goes to Scory of the Rat Tribe. Congratulations to both of our winners. Now everyone, enjoy the fair! You won! You got the silver medallion for second place. It's not first place. I should have won first place. I was too busy thinking about the prize instead of the puzzle. I should have. Attention, everyone! I authority of the Forest King, I hereby declare this fair officially closed. 
What is the meaning of this? The Orb of Storms has been stolen from its resting place. The Orb of Storms? This is most distressing. Until the Orb has been returned, everyone is confined to their homes while a full investigation is conducted. Confined? Boars cannot be confined! We go where we want! We do what we want! Including perhaps stealing the Orb of Storms? Boars do not steal! Why would we steal it? The Orb predicts storms. Storms bring rain. Rain brings mud. And who likes mud better than anything? Boars! Bah! If we had wanted the Orb, we would have just walked in boldly and taken it! No, Elk. We are not thieves. We do not sneak around and steal like the fox. Hey! Quiet! Or is there something you'd like to tell us? J just that foxes don't always steal. Some of us have never stolen anything. Confess, Fox. Tell us where you were last evening just before sundown. I camped in the woods overnight on my way here. And I suppose someone saw you and can confirm this? I can. I was with him the whole time. Ha! <laughs> first one fox lies, and then the other fox does by saying the first one was telling the truth. We boars want the orb returned. As much as I hate to admit, there is truth in what the elk captain has said. Without the orb, we will not know when the rains will come. We will not know when to prepare the mud baths. All this makes the boars very mad. We want answers now! And morphs without answers will get hurt. Are you threatening us? Boars will hurt! Boars will hurt all! Boars want the orb back now! Very well, Captain. I'll deal with this. Under the authority granted me by the Forest King, I arrest you both for the theft of... But you can't do that. We haven't stolen anything. I'm afraid I'll have to hold the two of you in custody until this puzzle is solved. Puzzle? You say this is a puzzle? Then I'm the last person you want to arrest. What do you mean? See this medallion? This is for second place in the puzzle solving contest. If anyone can find the Orb of Storms and bring it back to you, it's me. Well then, Fox, I suppose it is up to you after all. Very well. You have until the next new moon to find the orb. Okay, see you then. Come on, Reen. However, just to make sure that you return, I will send one of my warriors along with you. Lieutenant Ia, please step forward. Lieutenant Ia, you will accompany them on their quest. Aid them wherever and whenever you can. But if they try to escape or refuse to return, your orders are to use whatever force is necessary to return them to us to stand trial. Is that perfectly clear, Lieutenant? Yes, my Captain. Wait! Boars do not trust foxes! Boars do not trust orc! Both are weak fools! I will send along a true warrior! One who will get the job done! Orc! Orc, go with them! Find this orc! If they are lying, kill them. If they try to escape, kill them. If you suspect treachery, kill them. If they do not find the orb, kill them. What about if we snore too loudly? Riff! <laughs> Maybe I won't wait. Maybe I'll kill them now. Enough. Now go. Remember, you have only until the next new moon to complete your quest. Wait. I do not trust you most of all, young fox. So, to make sure you come back, we will keep your little friend. Ow! Rip! Green! Remember, if you return by the next new moon, your friend will be released unharmed. If you don't return by then, why, I'll just have me a new pelt for my wall. <laughs> now go! Reen! Reen! I suggest you concentrate on completing your task. Remember, you have only until... The next new moon. You don't have to remind me. I'll be here, and I'll have the orb with me. I hope that you do. 
Lieutenant Eon, you're in charge. Carry on and Godspeed. Yes, sir. Well, my new friends, our quest lies ahead. Let us not keep it waiting. And there we are. Griff, the young fox, who is accused of stealing the Orb of Storms, and um, whose girlfriend, Breen, has just been abducted by the boars. Yes. English is not my native language, so you will have lots of fun laughing at me trying to find the words that should be kind of obvious to me. Um, this will be one thing in the English versions, and feel free to point and laugh because I do too. Yes, I do laugh at myself a lot. It's fun. So, it seems like the Boris and the Elk are at the brink of war, at least they kind of hate each other. Well, the hatred mostly comes from the Boris and it seems like they hit everyone, kind of. Anyhow, we've been tasked to find the orb until the next new moon, or else our girlfriend will be the new pelt hanging at the wall of the captain of the Boar Guard. So, first thing I'm going to do is to move this this tiny, teeny tiny little window to the side, which I've just done, because um, this is the Windows version that you can get on um, goodoldgames.com, gorp.com, and it, um, yeah, it's it's the Windows package version. It doesn't use the DOS box as many other old games from there do, um, and you can also see that at the beginning it shows the Wormkeep Entertainment logo, which is the company that now owns uh, Inherit the Earth, and they also do an awesome Inherit the Earth comic. Actually, I own two of their books and they wanted to do a second part of that game which would have been pretty awesome but the Kickstarter sadly failed. Maybe they will be able to do that somewhere in the future but I actually doubt it. So if you, if you like this game, if you know this game and liked it, uh, be sure to check out Wormkeep Entertainment and, and uh, send them some love. It doesn't need to be in the form of money but send them some love. Uh, check out their their social media accounts and um, write it, write nice words to them because they are really awesome people. I mean, I haven't met them personally yet. And I think enough rambling. There will be lots of silence at the beginning. This is why I am talking now because this game has um, lots of sections with talking uh, since it's the voiceover version, and I don't want to interrupt them talking. I want you to be able to hear them out. So I'm now using a zoomed in version. Like I'm using the OBS screen to, to be able to see the picture bigger than it actually is. Okay. So first of all, we have won the second prize, which Rip is really mad about because he didn't win the first prize. Well, that's what you get for having your head in the clouds. Now let's let's talk to our involuntary uh, friends here. Now let's talk to the boar first. I have my orders to help you. Lead on as you wish, but I'll be watching everything you do. So as you can see, he's a bit skeptic of us. I mean, yes, he's not trusting foxes, and foxes are said to be sneaky and not to be trusted, so... It is the cliché. I'm here to wish to you, not intimidate you. I'll do as you wish. And the exact opposite is Ia. Okay, now let's let's head outside. Let's see what we have once we leave this screen. As I said, this Windows package... Pack, blah, blah, the Windows packaged version... No, I'm not going to cut this out. This Windows packaged version has... Um, Lots of weird quirks. Mainly, uh, you, you saw this when the when the screen dissolve went on. Normally, this would be like one second or less, and this was very slowly. Um, but it should still work. So this is the fairgrounds. Let's see what this place is. No, I can't read the sign. Ah, a fortune teller. Hey, excuse me. Ah, you wish to have your fortune told. What is your name? 
Nineteen. My name is Riff, and I come here seeking oh. information. She was talking about this name. It's my business. Not information about myself, but rather about the Orb of Storms. <sighs> so you are the one sent to seek the Orb. Bid your friends wait elsewhere. And I will supply the information you seek. Shoot out. Now then, about the orb of storms. Hmm. Patience, my handsome friend. First, let me see your palm. Interesting. You may now ask your questions. Uh, was that sexual harassment? I mean. And it sounded like it. So let's see. Perhaps you could look into your crystal and tell me who did this deed. Very well. I can see forms, many forms, but I cannot make them out. I sense great power. Your quest will be a most dangerous one. For what purpose was the orb stolen? If the thief would sell information on the seasons and weather to other tribes, it would make him very rich indeed. Just turn around a bit. The camera is on, on an angle, so I need to find a perfect way to sit. What do you know of the orbs? I know that the orb of storms is but one of several. I also know that all of the orbs are somehow linked to a great intelligence from which their powers are derived. And what is the source of this great intelligence? That is a mystery that died with the humans. So as you've gathered from the introduction, there are no humans anymore and the animals are walking upright and talking and all that stuff. So these are the gifts that the humans gave them that the introduction reader talked about. What advice can you give me on my quest? I suggest you examine the scene of the crime. You may find other pieces to your puzzle there. You mean journey to the sanctuary of the Orb of Storms? Yes. There you will find the old one, Elara. Cthulhu. She may help you, but first you must convince her that your heart is true. Okay, we're not going to accuse her of stealing the orb. Um, it's an interesting thing because since I know the uh, resolution, since I know who stole the orb and why, um, some of these texts have a second meaning now for me. It's kind of interesting to replay this game, actually. I only completed it once, played it multiple times, never completed it, then used the solution. Then I shall be on my way. Thank you for your help and counsel. Will you not tarry a while longer? Yeah, she's... Perhaps a soft bed will rest and refresh you for your journey. My friend is being held prisoner. Until she is free, there will be no rest for me. I see. Then off with you, handsome one. May fortune smile upon you. Yeah, she's totally into him. And also, he's talking about his friend, not, not his girlfriend. So are they together or not? Mm -mm. I played the German version when I was a kid and it sounded more like she's his girlfriend. The thing is, in German, we have only one word. Um... We don't separate between a boyfriend and a friend or a girlfriend and a friend. Um, we only have words for male friend and female friend. So it always sounded to me that she was his girlfriend and I think she, she actually is. Now let's take a look at what else we can find here on these fairgrounds. Oh, look at that. There's a bear here. A bear merchant. Maybe he knows something about the orb. Pardon me, my friend. I'm conducting an investigation. Would you mind answering a few questions for me? 
you want to ask me questions? I'm not very good at answering questions, but I'll try. Wait, well, one thing that I really love is the facial expressions that they do in these uh, in these icons. I actually ordered um, facial expression icons for myself, so you might see um, see them instead of the camera image whenever I'm not using the camera or like, during intro. Um, intros of the game or uh, something like that. So first of all, the, we are conducting an investigation, right? So first of all, the, the default question, where were you last night? Where were you last night? I know this one. Hello, Tommy. Let me think. Uh, Mr. Bear. Wait a minute. Let's see. Last night, today I'm here. Oh yeah, last night I was here too. I was getting my wares ready to sell. Ah, that's good. So, well, he doesn't have an alibi, right? But yeah, what is it that you sell? I guess it's pots or something, but it could also be honey. He's not too bright, but I really like the the voice actor. He, he really brings this character to life. And what exactly is it that you sell? Sweets, fruit on a stick, honey on a stick, honeyed fruits on a stick. If it's sweet and will fit on a stick, I'll sell it. That sounds pretty awesome actually. Honeyed fruit on a stick. So yeah, the voice acting in the German version was a, a some portions suboptimal, other parts were actually pretty awesome. Who do you think might have stolen the Orb of Storms? Hmm, that's a hard one. Who stole the Orb? Let's see. I think it was the thief. The, the thief? That's right. If you find the thief, you'll have the person who stole the Orb can't argue with that. Why do you think someone, uh, the thief, might have stolen the ore? Maybe it was pretty. Maybe it tasted good. Maybe it was fun to roll around and play with. Simple person. What advice would you give in searching <clears throat> for the ore? <clears throat> hmm. Let's see. Take some warm clothes, especially your mittens, and a warm hat. And don't forget your galoshes. Always be polite and say please and thank you. That last one actually is a very good advice for many people. What do you know about the Orb of Thieves? It's been stolen. I know it's been stolen. I just don't know by whom. I bet it was that thief you were talking about. I didn't say there was a thief. You did. There wasn't a thief? <laughs> That's good. It'd be awful if someone stole one of those orbs. Ugh. <laughs> What's that? What's what? I believe I heard someone calling me. I don't hear. Thank you so much for your time and trouble, Mr. Bear. And don't take any wooden nickels. <laughs> I think that's a reference to um, Space Quest 2, where it says don't take any wooden bakasoids. Or this is a common English saying. I, I've never heard that before Space Quest 2, so um, yeah. I think in Space Quest 2 you could literally get wooden money, and you, I think if you took it you lost you died. Oh, look how neat these interiors are located. So, that's one thing that I remember about this game, that it was really pretty. I mean, these days the graphics of that game aren't that aesthetic, or, well, it's pixel graphics. They are actually aesthetic for pixel graphics, but um, we are used to 3D rendering with lots of shaders and all that stuff, and yeah, it does, doesn't really compare to that. But I think for 
for the style of graphics, this is very, very awesome made. Really awesome artwork, that is. Okay, this is the house. So, the one thing is that I, I know that later in the village we need to check all the houses. But I think here the houses are all the same basically, just empty rooms that you can go into. But again, I, I actually like that you can take a look in all the houses, even if it's just the same window popping up. Just that the developers thought of the possibility that you might go and check out the inside of the houses and that you can do it everywhere. There are some, later in the game, there are some places where you have different style houses, like interiors. Okay, let's talk to the ram, if they let us. And yeah, that's, that's one problem, you need to exactly like, hit them. Good day to you, sir. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? Ah, if it isn't the fox that closed down the fair and ruined my vacation, would I mind if you asked me a few questions? Of course not. You may waste all of my time if you wish. Okay, he seems pretty... But to be honest, I would be pretty pissed also. Who do you think might have stolen the orb? I think it was the rats. Nana, no, no. on second thought, I think it was the bears. However, it could have been the dogs. My vote, however, is with one of those crafty foxes. All the fingers seem to be pointing to them and to one in particular. And I have seen no evidence to the contrary. Have you? Yeah, so basically he thinks we're the... Well, he's pissed at us because he thinks we're the thief. Fair got stopped because the orb was stolen, so we're responsible for the, the fair getting stopped. So he's mad at us. And whatever I say, he will point that out. He will not fail to do that. Do you have any idea why someone might have wanted to steal the orb? Hmm. Something that predicts the weather, tells us the seasons, something upon which our entire agricultural existence depends? I can't possibly imagine why anyone would want to steal that old thing. Perhaps to make into a necklace? What do you think? What do you know about these orbs? Only two things. One, they are round, hence the name orb. Two, the theft of one has caused the complete ruination of my vacation at this fair. That is all I know about them, and that is all I want to know about them. Ah, sorry, just had to pop my uh, cheek bone. Can you give me any advice on looking for the missing orb? Yes, I can. I suggest you take the longest, most difficult route available. Don't forget to stop occasionally and bang your head with a large rock or other blunt instrument. Bury your face in a hill of red ants whenever you can. <laughs> and if you should run across any rams that might be on holiday, don't forget to take time out and totally ruin it for them. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you. I, uh, thank you for... Farewell, young fox. If we never meet again, it will be too soon. <laughs> I think he likes us. Wow, what a sore head. Hey, a ram. Butting heads? Sore head? That's pretty good. <laughs> uh, cheeky one. Uh, yeah, it's, it's hard if you see the window twice to actually navigate using the mouse. So I'm going to cut off here and we see each other in the next episode oh yeah moderation in, uh, in the last season I actually wrote the moderation texts before I um, recorded them so I recorded the episode and then then uh, recorded the moderation texts after cutting everything so this time I'm going to do it like stand-up style I'm not trying to do comedy um, so yeah, that's that's the first episode. I hope that you are interested enough to watch the next episode or to check out the game. If, if you want to check out the game, actually, then I've reached my goal. Because it's an awesome game, you should try it. 
but we will see each other or you will see me mainly um, in a few days how many will be determined by I, I started that one uh, in, in the German one in the first season will be determined by Yes, that can be a lot, but it's 11.5 days in average, so this will be a very slow one, and yeah, I'm just mean like that. <laughs> so you will see the dice roll next, and after that you will know when the next episode will air. See you then!